Hey guys, here's an update on the AI for Brevis. Um, this is kind of version 2, it's based off of the original that I posted the video on, but I've cleaned up a lot of the systems, uh, segregated the, the way that uh, information is managed inside the AI, and uh, it works a lot cleaner now. Uh, it's able to uh, basically follow a flow from collecting the information in the Raycast and then sending that to uh, a behavior FSM that decides what state it should be in and then locomotion uh, executes that state's requirements so if he's in combat he's going to be getting information on the on the target and then following that if he's in uh, local avoidance trying to get around an asteroid or something some kind of object or obstacle then he's going to be doing a completely different set of things and then if he's fleeing, it's a totally different set. If he's going around the anchor, very different. You know, all these states set up for executing uh, different uh, behaviors, and uh, it's all kind of you know overlorded by the uh, behavior FSM that uh, decides what it should be in. So that's how the you know the flow of information works on the AI. Uh, it performs much more consistently this way, and uh, within the systems at a low level it's um, it scales significantly better uh, there's still some some pretty annoying failings in it but uh, overall it's it's been improved significantly there's three guys that are chasing uh, this one bad guy here and uh, they're firing terribly inaccurate sidewinder missiles that uh, they have a very hard time hitting anything with. So um, they're not able to communicate with each other. Uh, they are not really aware of each other other than the fact that they know that they can't um, run into them. So they'll treat them basically like an asteroid. So if they get too close and the Raycast taps them, then they'll dodge them. But um, other than that, there's not any uh, flocking logic or anything in there. But uh, they do perform a lot better. Um, the best way I've found to scale the, uh, you, know, you can see right here, this is one of the bad points because it, they can't track a target correctly around something. They can't just path around an obstacle. Um, currently, he'll just he'll just say, "Dude, there's something in the way," and then uh, he'll go to locomotion and change it over to uh, look the local avoidance state, and then just do you know what he does to get around asteroids so basically he leaves combat mode to avoid asteroids but he doesn't care if he gets back on target you know all he cares about is just getting around the obstacles as safe as possible so he'll turn all in the wrong direction and everything and haven't really figured out how to um, get around that with the current Im implementation um, I think ideally if I put all of the nearby asteroids into an array and started waiting you know the choices you had to go around them then it might be better but uh, um, it's just going to be a struggle to kind of accomplish that uh, for, for the moment with this implementation because changing over to an array system would complicate things a whole lot and I think I just want to keep this one pretty simple maybe if I need more advanced AI I'll eventually get into that but not at the moment so that's basically how it works. So, I mean, you can see that they do end up taking out a target. They're able to uh, fire when they're, you know, in the appropriate range, when they're looking in the general direction. Uh, the lead target system that's working out of the combat is a new action that I've made based on some uh, code from I found on the Unity forums. Yeah, so he finally got stuck. Once they get stuck, it's it's retardedness. Doesn't happen very often. That's probably I've probably ran this and gotten them stuck maybe like one to fifty one to every fifty runs they'll get stuck and I've been running it for like five minutes at a time so they uh, they perform perform pretty well but anyway the uh, lead target action here based on some uh, information I found on the unity forums uh, projects ahead of the target based on its speed and your position and the weapon speed that uh, you're firing. So for this case they're firing some 
some missiles and I've just estimated that their velocity is going to be 150 and then it puts a uh, it put picks a vector up ahead of the target based on that information and uh, then I got my uh, the old torque look rotation action that I made and it'll steer towards the intercept point and then when, it, when it's within a specific angle of that intercept point when it's looking at it if it's within five degrees then it'll go ahead and start firing missiles so it works out decent and uh, it doesn't have any idea of uh, you know things that might be in the way obstacles that might ob obscure the line of sight it doesn't understand that yet but uh, it can definitely navigate around a very very dense asteroid field and destroy a target so I mean that feels pretty functional to me so I'm gonna see how this works uh, against the player soon and uh, feel it out and see what I need to change to make this fun for the players and uh, then we'll go from there so this will be up for download uh, on the forums of course on the playmaker forums so uh, I'll get that up hopefully today I gotta put the package out but uh, if I do get it out today I'll put a link in the video and you can download it so enjoy <laughs>